Hello, people. Eric Fraunfelter, Thomas Metal, 75. <laughs> he said, let's do a hangout and drink Miller High Life. I said, okay, well, I'm not missing a World Series that starts it in uh, about uh, in, uh, 50 minutes. Okay. Couldn't figure it out. So I'm hanging out and drinking Miller High Life. Oh, oh, look at that smoke. Not examining it, just drinking it. Um, so, chilling, drinking a high life. Now, I think at the top of the hour, there's going to be an examination of uh, Heineken up there in the country of Canada. It could be a very interesting video. So you have to look for that. Shouldn't be hard to find. Heineken, Heineken examination. All right, so, oh man, this looks like, almost like the champagne of beer. <laughs> Now, Eric was talking about we're going to do the Hangout on his channel. I said, okay, I'm ready. Then he said, well, let's do it on your channel. I said, okay. <laughs> All right, so I posted, I posted the link on uh, – I posted the link on alcohol eggs and uh, – I mean, in beer talk, I guess I can post a link in alcohol eggs. Couldn't hurt. When I first started drinking beer in um, February of 1996, I wanted to try various beers. So, uh, come on, you. A little rat here. All right. I wanted to try various beers, so um, I said, let's get something iconic. So I, I went and got the uh, Miller High Life, and I bought a six-pack of the ponies. I tried them, and I said, oh, that's pretty good. I guess I'll try every other brand. <laughs> and that's really been the focus of the channel, just drinking brands, you know, talking about the brands. There's there's Thomas Metal. Hello. You got, you got the light? Um. <laughs> That's really what I wanted to buy. I ended up not finding the light, so I got a six pack of the Tall Boys, Miller High Life. Oh yeah. I, I thought it would be cool, and I, I I don't know if you've done it. But I, I one of the reasons I thought it would be cool to do the Miller High Life light is I as I was thinking about, and I might try to find it anyways. I was thinking about doing a comparison between High Life light and Miller Light, or maybe doing a blind taste test, seeing if you can really tell the difference. Oh yeah, that's a really good idea because. Uh, You get you get the highlight if light a lot cheaper, and um, to me it's better. But I don't know. Have I done a taste challenge? I have to check that out. Let me let me just put this one. The high life. I'm just putting this high life. So I know people have done. Um, what is it? Uh, a Miller or a Coors Light and Keystone, or they do the Bush Light versus Miller or a Bud Light. I know people do that. Oh yeah, I've done a lot of. Um, I'm not seeing. High, I'm not seeing a lot of high life light videos. Is what I'm basically trying to say. No, you don't see too many. Mm -hmm. But yeah, people will take the cheaper alternative from the same company and compare it to the premier, and see if there's a whole lot of difference. I like that idea. Okay, I'm reading the Miller High Life website right now. It says we brew the golden pilsner. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the pilsner part of it. Uh, yeah, they all say pilsner pretty much these days. With the yeast our founder brought over from Germany. He went to New Orleans first. I wish he'd have stayed here, mm. but he didn't. Okay, light, stable Galena hops, right? So it doesn't get skunked. Uh, malted barley. Finishing a red stripe, by the way. Oh, different malted barleys. You got the Jamaican one. And uh, they use corn, the corn syrup, the brewer's syrup, you know. Um, they got the girl in the moon. Nobody knows why they call it the girl in the moon. 
or where that comes from, there's different theories. Mm -hmm. uh, um, from 1855 to 1903, it was called Fred Miller beer. Fred Miller, okay. La Fred Miller Lager. It's certified kosher. <laughs> it's 141 calories. Yeah. Per 12 ounces. Yeah. I put 4.7% alcohol. I always make that mistake. I don't know why. It's 4.6. Yeah, that's what the can says. Union made. Ooh, yeah. How about that? Um, now, we get these uh, 12 packs for about $7.99. I remember it used to be so much cheaper. We get the 30 packs for about, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, $19, $18. We get... I think the 18 pack of the 12 ounce cans was like $16 and like 49 cents, maybe. Say that again. $16 and 49 cents for a 12 ounce pack of 18 cans. You mean a 18 pack of 12 ounce cans? Correct. 18 ounce cans. Well, okay, yeah, you said that back. Um, the best deal we get here, of course, is the. Uh, the, the pint cans because we can get now for a while they had the pints and the bottles for the same price the pint bottles and pint cans but right now the pint cans are two pint cans for 275 okay sounds pretty good and then you can get milwaukee's best ice two pint cans for 250. i noticed that a lot of these miller i don't know maybe i'm crazy with this one because, yeah, I guess it kind of is there. It, it, they all have this very similar, I don't know if it's the yeast or if it maybe is the corn syrup that they're using, but they all have this similar kind of a sweet, grainy component to them throughout, throughout the Miller line of beers. Yeah, like a house style. Mm -hmm. Like it's, yeah, like they're using a house yeast strain. Which they do use. Um um that if you if you convert the two quart cans for 275 if you converted that into a six pack of 12 ounce bottles that would be three dollars and nine cents a six pack that's a good deal right 309 yeah. i mean how many beers can you get for 309 a six pack these days uh that's not called big flats 1901. oh <laughs> i've never had that uh -uh. no nah, that's just no good it's like you just soon not drink beer. Now, Maxwell, I'm going to read a few comments. Maxwell says, hi, Ron. Hi, Maxwell. Glad to see you over there in Poland. Josh Collins says, have you tried Victory's Golden Monkey? I sure have, and I did a review of it, and I loved it. That's that Belgian-style ale, right? Okay. Sour Monkey is pretty good, too, from uh, Victory. I never tried that. Rye Bar says, that's my beer of choice. You talking about Golden Monkey or Miller Hollow? Adam Kennedy says, hey, I love me some High Life. Two 24-ounce cans at my local bar. For two for three dollars, uh, wow, that's pretty that's good. Yeah, for the price, I preferred over past blue ribbon. CS 1992 So I wish I had one to drink. I just finished a National Bohemian. Hey, well, you know what? I wish I had a National Bohemian. Never had that. It's good, but you know, it's more ordinary than anything. But it's good. Backwood Boondock. So I just got done drinking a <laughs> Hap and Harry's Lager, then ale, the German wheat. Huh? I never heard of that. Hap and Harry, huh? Bart says, good to see you on this Wednesday night. Just cracked the 40-ounce high life myself. 40 <laughs> ounce. <laughs> Cheers, baby. Jacob Millis, I got a PBR, Ron. Ooh, uh, high life is very good. I agree with that. Maxwell says, don't remember about... Wait, I don't understand what you're saying. Don't remember about likes in YouTube. Hmm. Now, you see, Maxwell is from Poland, so there could be some trouble getting it into the correct english Ew. backwood boondock said i started drinking in 1998 old english for 400. You, oh you mean, that was a while ago huh you mean old english 800. um uh, wasn't there a 400 way back when i thought there was maybe no i'll have to look that up no captain bailey says it's miller time it is if you got the time we got the beer look we got the video <laughs> bar says wish i had a high life i've been drinking natty light it's seven dollars and eighteen seven dollars and eighteen pack here in the Rio Grande Valley. Wow! Oh, I can't get over that. It's like 
eleven ninety nine for that same thing here. Brian yeah. O'Leary says, "Cool guys, I'm having one right now." Slanty. Oh, that's good. Oh, Jerry, right. Jerry Alvarez says, "Ronald, have you ever had Jolly Traveler?" I sure have. That's those shandies from a a Boston beer company. Yeah. He said, "I really enjoyed the Jacko Traveler." Yeah. I was wondering how Jolly Traveler would compare. Oh, I, I think it's it would be very good. I really appreciate your input. It, yeah, I would recommend it, wouldn't you, Eric? Um, uh, yeah, it's probably a good. I just can't recommend that style, but it's probably good for what it is, and it's, at least it's made by a reputable company, not some uh, city brewing company or some little small swill beer company, right? Right. We're saying, you know, within the style, you know, some people yeah. like shandy stuff. Beavis Chaka says, Miller High Life isn't enjoyable. Oh. It all depends when it comes to um, when it comes to a beer like Miller High Life, and when it comes to a beer like a Red Stripe brewed in Jamaica. This one, it all comes down to what your definition of of enjoyable is, and you have to look at it within context. I don't think the both of us. I know that Jay's got all the got all the haters. Why do you drink? Why do you like lagers so much? Da, 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 da. I think it's it, it's it's more about taking a beer. And looking at it inside of its context. If you already are passing judgment on the beer before you review it, or it's not meant to be a funny, um, carefree video, then I think you're doing it wrong. That's all I'm going to say. Now he said, okay, and he says, uh, yeah, I see that red straight. Does this say Jamaican style lager or Jamaican lager? Um, it says none of the above. It just says imported. Lager beer brewed in Jamaica. Okay, well that's the, that's the Jamaican. Okay, now let me read the rest of the comments. Uh, Beavis says, uh, "I drink a lot of cheap beers, and I stay away from that one. You can get a forty ounce glass bottle for two dollars and nineteen cents in California. You can actually get it. We don't get forties here for some reason of this particular brand." He says, "Jacob says, Jacob Mills. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well." Uh, JJ Villa Villa says, "High Life is a great low budget beer. I love it." What's up, Ron? Oh, just chilling, drinking a high life. What's up? What's up? Uh oh, wrong beer. Um, Tim's Brew says, "Cheers, Michelob Ultra." And then Brian, oh, Olane, oh, Olane. <laughs> so is what I know. Oh, your name is pronounced Olane. Okay. Tim's Brew says Michelob Ultra, and then Olane's smiling, smiling. Maxwell said, "I had in mind that I would put a husky under the video." That would not forget looking to put Leica under the video or thumb. I don't understand what that means. Um, Get back to us on that, sir. <laughs> Kentucky Bourbon Ale ever had it? Oh uh, yes. yes. I've had one of their 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 beers. Uh, it's on my website, on my you know my YouTube page. It's pretty good. But we don't really get their stuff around here. That all tech stuff. I think it's just the I, I I've had the Kentucky I had the Kentucky ale a couple of weeks ago when my buddy there Dave brought it over um, and I've had the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel I think it was the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel ale that's the one in the that's the one in the black and and the the label kind of looks like a like a bourbon barrel um, I don't know if I'm looking at the right B I don't know if that's the one that I'm thinking of but I remember having a really bad experience with that beer but just plain old kentucky ale is actually really good i like that one um i had one of theirs and i thought it was good it was a real strong one i think it was like 10 percent alcohol or something like that uh you know miller high life is going through many different ad ad campaigns over the years some some were successful and some were like really weird like in the 90s with this it was almost like People with a a tank top, t-shirt, undershirt, in a rundown apartment with a whole fridge full of Miller High Life bottles, dancing with their dog alone at night. And I was like, I don't think that's the image they really want to. You know, it's like this David Lynch type, Twin Peaks type uh, uh, -oh. ad campaign. People didn't really go for that, so then they scrapped that and went to more like normal stuff. But uh, this guy at work today, he was telling me. Miller High Life. I don't drink that cheap garbage. Well, what does he drink? I said, oh, well, excuse me. Why do you say that? 
I drink good stuff like Corona. I said, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> come on. It's all the same type of beer. I said, oh, well, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, on the top 100 beers on Beer Advocate in the category of um, American Adjunct Lager, this is the top 100. Miller High Life is nowhere to be found in that list. Huh. But Schlitz Gusto's number one. Um, Narragansett beers number seven. Um, anything else? No, nothing really from the major major. Well, there's Olympia ninety five percent malt. Never heard of that in the East Coast. I've heard of it, but I've never. Oh wait, is this it right here? I don't think they make that anymore, Eric. Um, ninety five percent malt. Yeah, it was like. It's almost all pure. <laughs> no, this is just a different um, can that somebody had sent me. No, I don't think they make the nine percent corn. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. um, where is it here? But this beer, this red stripe, surprisingly enough, is on the list. I just saw it. It's a uh, number forty-two out of one hundred. It does better than Dos Equis Dark Lager, and it does far. It does. Better than Pabst Blue Ribbon, which is number 50 on the list. So what, is, what is the list again? It is the top 100 rated beers under the category under the style of American adjunct lager, according to Beer Advocate. Oh. Hey. Um, yeah, uh, real reputable, right? Whoops. I guess they're reputable. You know. Now, Jerry Alvarez says, Ronnie. Nobody calls me Ronnie. Okay. Now, could Ronnie Montrose. Ronnie James, could you dip your beard in the beer and sip it from your beard? No, because... <laughs> that's a that's weird uh, little uh, fetish that you got there, Ronnie. No, because my mouth is above my beard, so see, I cannot... Maxwell says, people, do not forget to put big finger under video. Oh, he's saying like the video. I get you now. Big finger under video. That's... No. I hope it's not a particular finger now. Dirty finger. Oh, no, sticky ah. fingers. Not a middle finger. Now, uh, Miller Hayden Hoover. Hello, Hayden. He says Miller High Life is my favorite beer to have with a meal. Yeah, it's really comparable to meals. Like when I was growing up in the '70s, my parents and family, a lot of times if they would have a fish fry or a, a barbecue, I would see them drink a Miller High Life or Dixie or Schlitz because those kind of beers they're so good to pair with food because they're so mellow. They don't interfere with the flavor of the food. Agreed. <clears throat> Oh, let me just say this, and I'm going to let you say some things. Sure. In my area, this is what we get as far as Miller High Life. It may be on draft, which means then it would be Miller Genuine Draft, right? Okay. but uh, And I'm sure it's got to be on draft somewhere around here. But uh, And you can get draft kegs. I know that much because I see people ordering them sometimes But um, for like a, a, you know, like a party. But um, we get it in the 32-ounce cans the 16 ounce cans the 12 ounce cans we get 32 ounce bottles uh 12 ounce bottles the seven ounce little pony bottles uh and i guess that's it i never see the 24 ounce cans around here it's always quart cans the quart cans kind of push the 24 ounce cans off the shelf you know sure because everybody's going to buy I mean, who's not going to buy two quart cans for two seventy five? I mean, come on. Exactly. Yeah, my, my the the region I live in 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 southern Massachusetts and even into the Boston area, Boston, Massachusetts, is very similar. We do get obviously sixteen ounce cans in the six packs. So this was like six dollars and change. I didn't think that was so bad compared to beer prices in. Massachusetts where I live uh, again six ounce or uh, six ounce let me say that again uh, six pack of 12 ounce bottles and cans the pony bottles six or pony bottles six packs we get 18 packs 30 racks um, I do see the 24 ounce cans a lot in 40 ounce bottles um, and again if, if anybody didn't know or had just started to join us I was actually going to be looking for Miller High Life Light, but that, I don't want to say that's a rare 
beer, but not every store stocks Miller High Life Light. And I should have gone on my uh, my uh, smartphone this afternoon and seen where maybe I could have picked that up uh, during lunch. But anyways, um, and this is a very, I don't want to say it's a very special beer to me, but it, it definitely has some significance for me in doing the, the beer reviews and in doing um, these Google Hangouts. I remember it must have been, and Jay can correct me on that. I don't even remember. I'd have to go way back to look. I think it must have been December of 2015 or maybe even 2014. And I've been watching Jay's videos, the Louisiana beer reviews, and I've seen him do all these beer reviews, and I thought it was kind of a fun little thing. And I'm wondering, well, how do we get together on the internet? And how do we do this? How do we get together and we can film a review? Like if we try to do Skype and film it, how do we do this? And somehow Jay figured out how to do the Google Hangouts when it wasn't a part of the um, YouTube Live. And he picked Miller High Life as the one to do. So I don't know if it's true, but I seem to think that I, I, I like to claim that we were the first people to do a Google Hangout beer review together in the world. Huh. I like to think that we were because I don't remember seeing anybody do it before that time. Now, I remember Master Hoppets used to do it. The Beer Geek Nation guys used to do some kind of filming of videos. I don't know how they did it. It could have been – they could have figured out a way to film Skype uh, videos, but they weren't actually using this format that we're using now. So that's one of the reasons that Miller High Life kind of has a special place for me. And I always used to have – you usually have either Miller – Usually have Miller Lite around the house, but used to have a lot of High Life as well. So uh, my early drinking experience is with Miller beers and, I guess, in my area, same man. Well, there you go. I don't know. I don't know. I hear echo. I don't know where the echo's coming from, but I don't think we were the first, you know. I used to see other people doing it, you know. Um, let's see a few more comments. Hayden. He says, Miller High Life is my favorite beer to have with a meal. Oh, yeah, we already read that. Uh, Miller Light now, Rio, and I, I don't know you, Rio, but thanks for watching. He said, Miller Light tastes better and is only 0.4 less ABV. Well, <clears throat> I prefer High Life, but, um, you know, I guess Miller Light is more popular. Josh Collins says, what was the Miller that had the spade on the can a couple of years ago? That was good. Oh, uh, the Miller Fortune. You thought it was good, maybe, but most people didn't like it, and it failed. Now, that is true now, Eric. I did do the first video review for that beer in the world. <laughs> and I remember when I did the video, I said, this might turn out to be Miller's misfortune, which it did. Uh, I, don't even think, I don't even think Budweiser Black Crown lasted all that long. You, you might be able to find Black Crown, but... It's probably yeah. gonna go. Yeah, I would think it's gonna go away. Right? No, nah, it's gone. It's dead. It's check on tap into your beer. It doesn't exist. And then what is? And then what? There's there was a Beck Sapphire that kind of went the wayside too. Yep, it's still made apparently, but it must only be one. Six. I had it at the brewery on tap in in the Merrimack, New Hampshire, uh, Anheuser Bush, the uh, Beck Sapphire, and I thought it was pretty delicious. I don't know. Maybe I'm. One of the only people in the country that thought that. I liked it. I liked it, but it, it was just gone in a few weeks. Uh, Guy Smith said the beer community is ridiculous. I it don't, can be. It can be at times. I don't give a damn what snooty websites say about a beer. I like High Life. It's cheap and refreshing. I value those qualities. And you know what? That is about the best thing you could say to this beer tonight. Cheers to you, sir. I'm drinking it. I don't like the carbonation on Miller High Life as much, says uh, Rio. And well, I I, I got to think here, and now I'm just going off a of memory like you are trying to right now. But I have to think that in the back of my mind, Miller Light has a higher amount of carbonation than this beer. The High Life does. I think High Life's pretty carbonated. Lee Russell says, "Just Jay and Captain Brown knows tonight. Amazing. Yeah, that's right. Captain what, sir?" <laughs> You, you heard me. That's our friend from Canada. Um, Brian O'Lane says, High Life is far better than Light. Okay. Well, I mean, I prefer Miller High Life over Light, but... Uh, I agree with you. 
but I prefer Miller High Life Light over Miller Light. I think also. I still, still need to find that beer and do it. It's so common here, like Miller High Life down here is in the the quart cans, the twelve ounce cans, and uh, the twelve ounce bottles. Yeah, we get High Life Light everywhere, you know. But I know in other parts of the country they can't get it at all. Now mm -hmm. Rio Owen says if Miller High Life had the same carbonation as Miller Light, it would be perfect. Okay. Uh, Arkansas Beer Reviews, Marvin, you ought to join this, Marvin. He says, uh, make it, uh, making me thirsty. And Bart says, greetings, Marvin. And Art, and then Marvin says, greetings, Bart. Maxwell said, by the way, Ron, I finally see Kraftwerk alive. They came to Moscow. Oh, that's right. Wow, cool. You're in Russia, huh? Russia. I'm sorry, I said Poland. I apologize. Uh, uh, they come to Moscow in February 2018. This is my dream. Well, that is awesome. Cool. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, Judas Priest is going back on tour in 2018 with Saxon. That's pretty cool. Oh. And uh, Black Star Riders, which is another inception of Thin Lizzy. A couple of the members of Thin Lizzy and a new drummer and a new singer. But I digress with the music there. That's okay. He said, I bought a ticket. He caught, it cost $60. It doesn't seem so bad for what you're getting. $61. Chris Yeezel says, I love to do Hangout for a beer or album review soon, but I guess Google Chrome is dodgy. Dodgy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, like it doesn't work half the time. Uh, what beer are we doing next week, says Jacob Miller. Oh, well, you know what? We're not doing beer next week. We're getting cray cray with some Seven Crown. <laughs> Whoa. Seagram Seven Crown introduced in 1934. Um, but you can join us. It's very inexpensive. You figure twelve dollars a bottle. Hey, why not? Speaking of, but and anybody can join that if they want. Uh, Lee. Uh, I mean, um, uh, are you going to join that, Eric? Um, I'm going to have to look for that particular product. I don't know. I don't know that I've seen that off the top of my head. Liquor store, but I must have run across it before without even thinking about it. Believe me, if there's a liquor store in Massachusetts, it's going to have Seagram Seven Crown. Seagram Seven Crown. If there's a liquor store in America, it's going to have that. Believe me, it's like. Oh, that's the official. That's the that's the full version name of this Seagram Seven. Everybody calls it Seagram Seven, but if you look at the label carefully, the official name of it is Seven Crown. Okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I've definitely seen this before. Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's like, it's like Budweiser, you know. Everybody's, everybody's going to have it. You know, talking about Lee Russell, he's saying ugly things, but uh, he made a comment in a video last week that it's you'd be hard pressed to find a bad whiskey, and I find that's true. I've been trying all these whiskey brands. I haven't found one yet that was bad. Well, well, some of the flavored ones aren't really that great. I, I, I never try, I never tried those except I tried a little bit of that Jack Daniels honey. Yeah. And uh, I didn't like it. I had a shot. Yeah, I had a shot of that over the weekend with a with with a couple of buddies of mine, and I found that the Tennessee a Tennessee honey almost had a a honey like um, consistency to it almost. Which one? Very much like drinking a honey. What was it? What was it? The Tennessee honey. The Jack Daniels Tennessee honey. Yeah, I, I didn't like that thing. It was very viscous. Yeah, it was. I gave it a thumbs down. Two yeah. thumbs down. Yeah, I would agree with you on that. I, I mean, I chose that, so I, I, I'm i the one to blame if people hated me after that. It is is what it is, right? I saw a bunch of that come in the store today. Brian O'Lane says, speaking of Budweiser, they should bring back Bud American Ale. Yeah. I wouldn't look for that to happen. Brian. No, I didn't like that. Br Brian says, Thin Lizzy is Irish, baby. Hams, yeah. now CS says Hams has shot, he meant the right, shot up in price around here, now $14.99 a case. Yeah, it's like, uh, no, nah, it's like $11.99 a case here. You, you, you know you know what's interesting, and I, I think I have to go back into Rhode Island to find it. I'm noticing, I'm noticing, and even some relatives have, have mentioned it to me, I'm noticing now that, that you can find Hams beer in, in places in Rhode Island all of a sudden. And we, we never got that beer here in New England. So it just seems like they've had a whole new distribution uh, craze going on with Ham's beer now. Because Miller said they're going to make it a nationwide brand. That's why. And I hear enough on this channel and otherwise 
that that's a pretty good uh, uh, traditional lager beer. So I'm looking forward to trying that finally at some point. Yeah, it's. I don't really think it's too good personally, but uh, really? it's all right. It's kind of like Miller High Life. I mean, it's. I mean, it's. What am I saying? It's kind of like uh, Milwaukee's best. It's kinda, okay. It's kind of like. Uh, well, that's the price point that it's in, though, pretty much, right? Yeah, when you drink on it enough and you start thinking about it, you start realizing it's really not that good. But <laughs> a uh, lot of people, I've heard a lot of people mention it in the same way that 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 I might mention it, and, and John might mention a um, Jameson Cream Ale that it's one of the better value beers, one of the best values in beer. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to see if I can get it and let y'all know. I think High Life is a better value, honestly. Now, Bart Robinson says, please do a Crown Royal discussion. It's smooth indeed, believe me. No, I do wait. believe. Oh, no, wait a minute, not next week. Oh, we should do that. Wait a minute. I have tried Crown Royal. I was drinking some of that after I came home from working at Bingo at the Knights of Columbus because they love drinking that stuff. And I drank it, and I was like, oh, yeah, this stuff's good. This is really good. This is really good. But I didn't I didn't do a video. got to do a black tooth grin. That was the beer. That was the drink of guitarist Steinbag Daryl from Pantera. You have a you have Seagram Seven, and two parts Seagram Seven, two parts Crown Royal, and a splash of Coke. That was his drink. The Black Tooth Grin. I never heard of it. Brian O'Lane says Clan McGregor is nice. Hold on a minute, Brian. I'm gonna be right back. Josh Collins says there is a brewery here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee called May Day. Have you heard of it? If not, I will send you some good stuff. I always tell people don't send me beer because people send me stuff. Rarely, I never get anything. But then uh, I turn right around and I see it in the store. Um, uh, hit me up on the Massachusetts Beer Reviews group of Facebook if you want to send a beer for a review. Yeah, he'll take it. Now, uh, uh, May Day, I've never heard of it. Jacob Miller, so hands is the next PBR. Uh, Probably. I I don't know about that. I think it could be if they market it. If, if they get into enough states, it could be. Friar Tuck says, and this is Patrick. Patrick says, certain whiskeys are a little stronger tasting than others. That doesn't make them bad tasting. That's right. It just, you know. Get your butt in here, Patrick. Let's go. Come on. He always says to send him a, oh, let me say this, people. I tried to send direct invites, but they would not go through. Same. Huh. Yeah. Oh, wait. Same thing. The same problem Lance uh, the Lush had last Friday. I said, Lance, why you didn't send me an invite? He said, it will not work. It will not work. He said, Google Chrome's being naughty again. And and it's doing it again tonight. You cannot. I'm not Google Chrome and I'm doing just fine. Go figure, right? Yeah, but you're not hosting a hangout and you're not trying to send invites either. Uh, no, I'm just sending links if I can. That's all. I sent the links that work fine. But yep. direct, these direct invites. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, well, that's that started breaking down about a month ago. So now the, the audio broke down after the April 2017 reboot. Then the di send and direct invites broke down. Like, what's going to break down next? Video? Oh, hold, um, on. Hold, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Jay's got something up his sleeve. Don't know what it is, folks. What you got up your sleeve, Jay? I just came out of my sleeve. Look. All right. Ta-da. From Ooh. Ireland. I mean, from Scotland to you. Yeah, nice. You and McGregor's. No. <laughs> no. This is Clan McGregor, and it, it was, oh. from my information, it goes back to about 1909, and uh, it's... Well, let me say something about this. It's sort of like a budget scotch. And if you look at the advertisements from years ago, they're saying, oh, we're, we're cheap because we don't waste money on advertising too much. And we, uh, they ship it to the United States in these big barrels and they bottle it over here. So they say we save money that way, you know, that kind of stuff. So, but uh, all I've read about it, people kind of like it. And my daughter and myself reviewed it. We like this. So I bought this Clan McGregor at Walmart. And you know how much it costs? Nine dollars and seventy-nine cents. That's pretty good. I mean, that's a really good value. If you like scotch. I do. 
So um, I'm gonna look for that. That's that's got to be common. It's very common. It's very oh, easy yeah. to get, and it's a uh, it's all over the United States. But I've only ever seen it in either that size bottle or the big, you know, the big. Oh, the 1.75 liter, maybe. Yeah, the big plastic bottle. Plastic bottle. Um, I got this bottle of. If you looked at alcohol eggs today, I don't know if you're a member of that, Eric, but um, I think I am. Jeff Lyons posted a photo of Buchanan's Buchanan Scotch, 12 year aged, and he was talking about he liked it. And he gave some good descriptors of it. And it's I a really good scotch. It's it's a blended Scotch whiskey, actually. Aren't most scotches blended though? No, a lot of them are. A lot of the popular varieties are single malts which means that they only are using one type of a grain. That's a very, for some reason, that's a very common and popular Scotch whiskey in, in of all places, Argentina and South America. Yeah, and I think India. But but uh, uh, I bought a bottle of that Buchanan's. It's either Buchanan's or Buchanan's. There's sort of an argument I there. Like the, I think it's like the, uh, I always thought of it like the President James Buchanan. Yeah, but apparently his name was pronounced Buchanan. All righty then. Uh, but anyway, it doesn't matter. But uh, but um, I have a bottle. I have a bottle. I bought it cheap because I went to this convenience store and they had the 375 milliliter bottle, and then they had that um, that um, I think it was that gin, the Country Club gin, Club, Clubhouse. I'm sorry, Clubhouse gin. And he was like, well, he was like arguing about the price and all. And they were like covered with dust. Like obviously, hmm. he, bought, he bought them from some other out of business store. He how? Said, how he said, put you off there, but how good? How good uh, did the, at the store that you work at? Do they do they do a clearance? Do do they do that from time to time? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna tell you that. Yeah, tell so, so he said, "I'll tell you what. I'll let you have the bottle of Buchanan's or Buchanan's mm -hmm. and the the Clubhouse Gin." Both of them together for twelve bucks. I said, "Wow!" I said, "You got it." <laughs> and hell, the uh, the full size bottle of Buchanan's is thirty five dollars. Yeah. So, I mean, it was a deal, you know. It was a deal, and uh, Mathern's does have clearance all the time. They've got this basket where they put wine, liquor, beer in there, and they'll have it discount, deep discounts. Yeah. And I bought some stuff out of there before. Hit or miss, basically. Yeah, it's like you can just rummage through it, and find something maybe. I saw at the store that I went to, and I almost was tempted to buy some whiskeys or some some gins or vodkas because they had a pretty good selection. One of them, I think it was like a, it must have been almost a liter bottle of Plymouth gin for like twenty five bucks. I'm like, oh, maybe I should have gone. I should have gone and looked at the actual price on the shelf to see if that was even a good deal to get it for twenty five dollars. Right. That's what you want to do. I'm going to show you a gin in a minute. Backwoods Billy says, I have some. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. <laughs> let me let me go Hold back. On, Billy. Billy Bob. Hams yeah. is a nice beer. You are talking about hams. Okay. Hams is on sale. All right. For a seven ninety nine a twenty four pack of twelve ounce cans, good grief! If I saw that price, I'd buy lots of it. Lots of it. Joshua says, "What's up, Jay? Drinking my favorite, drinking my all time favorite." Oh, thanks, Josh. Backwoods Billy says, "I just got here. What beer are y'all talking about?" Oh, Backwoods, we talking about Miller High Life. Jerry Alvarez says, "Ronald, I want to apologize for that ridiculous comment earlier." My phone was left unattended, resulting in asking you that ridiculous question. I don't even remember the question. Oh, about my beard. Oh, that's all right. Uh, I, 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 sick fetish, whatever. We believe you. <laughs> Backwoods says hams is as good as PBR. I don't agree. I'm hearing what? people saying this, Jay. Come on. I don't agree. Lee Russell says clear all the porn out of your Google cache. <laughs> oh, baby, that would make Google run better, right? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, no, it's not. It's, it's not pornography. No, it's it's some kind of internal problem because uh, a lot of people are having the problem. But then, of course, a lot of people probably look. All right, let's see. Backwood says, 
although, although PBR won the gold medal, Great American Beer Festival, American Style Pilsner. Yeah, I, it's won a lot of medals. So has High Life. And I don't know about hams. Friar Tux, I couldn't watch the video at first, but just restarted my phone and it started working. I, Send you a link. Join us. Yeah, you could join. But we're about to get off of here because I want to watch the World Series. Arkansas okay. Beer Reviews. Marvin says, all right, cracked open, a Pabst. And Brian says, a very nice whiskey. He must be talking about that, uh, I assume, the uh, the uh, Clan McGregor. Mm -hmm. It's a very good blend. Uh, well, he might be talking about the uh, Crown Royal. Huh? What's your thoughts on barley wine, says Josh Collins. My thoughts are I love it. Yeah, excuse me. I love barley. Ooh. barley. I love barley wine. Barley wine is delicious. Barley wine, if you look in the context of, I have a relative of mine that does this perfectly. If you look at the term beer, you know, you know, just as a generalized term, you, you might put a beer like High Life in the same category as a barley wine, which I think obviously most brewers would, would not agree with that statement. And I have a family member of mine that almost thinks about when it's a higher ABV beer, whether it's a barley wine or if it's a quadruple or a Belgian dark strong ale, that they almost even taste like like not even a beer. They almost have just like they almost just taste like a like some kind of a spirit, or they just taste like an entirely different kind of a drinking experience. So you have to treat those kind of higher alcohol beers with uh, the care and the dignity that they probably deserve from the brewers. Yeah, and I've got two of them. No. I've got about four of them that I'm aging, and I'm trying to wait five years. So next year I'll start cracking them open. Yeah, the first one I ever started to um, um, age was a four pack of 2013 Bigfoot barley wine. I still have one left, and I've seen enough of the 2017s. I should buy that. I don't have it yet. And the oldest beer I have, which I don't know why I found it, because I don't think they distribute their beers in New England, is a. Uh, I think it's called the Schlafly Reserve Barley Wine from 2008. Golly gee. Backwoods Billy says, Budweiser Light Platinum is awesome. Beer beer higher in ABV than the regular Budweiser, less calories and fuller flavor than most light beers. I can't argue with that. My daughter loves to drink that with boiled crawfish. Now, you know, I heard a lot of people, uh, I was watching, I think it was Kentucky Brew Reviews. And I saw them do a review. I saw them do a top five beer or light beers. And a lot of them kept mentioning that Budweiser Select 55 is a great light beer. Maybe they mean Select, not Select 55. Yeah, I think that's the one. Ain't nobody going to say Select 55. Is well, that's, uh, well, they seemed like they liked that whole concept of select. a Budweiser tasting beer with less calories. Yes, yeah, Select, I'll go along with. Now, Maxwell says, Kraftwerk visited Moscow 14 years ago and never came back. So I think that this is their last tour in Russia. They mostly, Probably. They mostly, perform, they mostly perform in America and Europe, uh, or America or Germany. Now, let me read these last few comments because i got to get off of here in a few minutes. Uh, uh, therefore, I, it will be a legendary meeting for me. I hope for an autograph. I received an autograph twice from Jean-Michel Jarre on his synthesizer, but never from the Kraftworks. Wow. Cool. Backwoods says, Justin Collins' barley wine is a nice style. Do you like Saison? Um, Saison. I love Saison. I can tolerate Saison. I love and, it. I, and I can tolerate sours. But to say that I ever to say that I ever think about wanting to drink one, I, honestly, I don't like one it. One of the best beers I've ever had in my life is the, is the uh, Victory Helios Saison. I love that beer. Backwoods says, I love Miller High Life. Maxwell says, Ron, grab some two gingers whiskey if you can get it slanty um two gingers whiskey i've got such a back stock brian if you if you came and saw this cabinet you would advise me not to buy any more liquor for a long time That's gingers whiskey from minnesota backwoods says shore craft beer festival in ocean city at sunset park to saturday october 28th going to it i'm going to show y'all one more thing and then i'm I got yeah. I got to get off of here due to sports related issues. Um, <laughs> um so I showed you the Clan McGregor. Two gingers, the number 2, the word gingers whiskey.com. 
I would do it. I would do it, but I just got such a back stock, you know. Yeah, the only thing I'll say really fast here is that sometimes these craft um, distillers of the of the spirits can be a little pricey. So you got to watch out for that. Yeah. But they're probably good, but what you got there, Jay? I'm glad back was like Miller Highlight. Now here's Pinnacle Gin. Pinnacle Gin. Ooh. I was at I was at um this place called International Market. And they had this, they have an incredible selection of really odd, out of date stuff. And mm. uh, and I don't know what's going on over there, but I don't ask questions. But they had this pinnacle gin for a dollar twenty nine a bottle. I said, well, I mean dollar twenty nine, wow. I said for a dollar twenty nine, even if it was terrible, it wouldn't be much of a loss. So I bought it. And you know, it's not terrible at all. I drank some when I got home from work today. It's interesting. If you look carefully, I don't know, you probably can't see that. If you look, if you, yeah, if you're in real, it's from uh, England, but if you're in real life, you can look through there and there's a castle with a flag in the background. It looks like a 3D image. Oh, wow. uh, it got bought out by Brown Foreman and uh, it's uh, the same people that make Jack Daniels. It's distilled four times, but um, you know, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's nice. No, I'm not, I wouldn't go buy it again because I have no real desire to buy a gin, but I like to try them. Um, Not a gin lover. You? I like I like gin. I like gin and tonics. I like uh, the occasional dry martini. Yeah, my uncle he lives on that Tanqueray and tonic. You know. I like Tanqueray. That's my that's my, that's my that's my thing. I've heard a lot of good things about New Amsterdam gin, and to get like a whole one point seven five milliliter, at least in my area, is like fifteen dollars. And if that's as good of a gin. That even the people that rate spirits say that it is that that's an incredible value. Oh, I mean, Pinnacle is just like everywhere around here. Yeah, it's the stuff that comes in the plastic bottles. That all that plastic stuff is so cheap. Now this Pinnacle gin, I it's in the plastic because it's small. But I noticed on the shelf they had the big glass bottles. Oh, I've never seen. Uh, I must have seen glass. They usually are pretty common in the in the plastic bottles and they're usually pretty common as a flavored vodka the thing the thing i say with my generation i have not really followed my generation as far as drinking is concerned unfortunately or fortunately but one of the big things used to was a pinnacle whipped cream vodka oh i saw that at walmart two days ago and uh big thing in my generation yeah pinnacle vodka is the big brand for pinnacle the vodka pinnacle yep. vodka now they have the gin and i think they have like pinnacle uh, there's some other stuff. <laughs> it's not just gin. It's not just vodka, but there's like the gin and there's some other thing like a rum, I think. But, uh, you know, nobody knows about it. Uh, World Series. Have fun watching the game. Yeah, I'm going right now. What is this new Budweiser coming out for the holidays? It might yeah, be out. I've never heard of it. Yeah, it's uh, it's the 18. It's the 1933 Prohibition uh, repeal. It's an amber lager. It's like, why are you making another amber lager? Didn't you fail with the other ones? But they're trying it, so I'm gonna buy it. You know. Well, well, didn't um, what was it? Uh, Coors did a pre-prohibition style lager. Was that right? That was sort of. Was that? I don't remember. Was that amber? I don't think it was. Yeah, it was called uh, Batch 19. I thought it was all right. I, I didn't mind it, but that sort of died and went on went on the wayside, just like a third shift fortune. Yeah, and third shift. Yeah, third shift. Yeah, that that tried to have an ad campaign, and I think it worked for a little while, and then people kind of just gravitated towards, I think, Yingling again. Yeah. Now Brian says Bombay is a nice gin. I've never had that, but I see it everywhere. Uh, a few more comments, and then that's it. I gotta go. All right. Bart says I'm aging some Valentine Valentine Burton ale. Ooh. Ooh, that would be a great one to age. I'm, I want to try that someday. Friar Tuck says Verlander versus Rich Hill tonight. Now I give yeah, the yeah, Rich Hill was on the Red Sox for a while. Yeah, and I say advantage goes to Verla Verlander, but you know, too. well, well, regardless of what happens in the World Series, the Red Sox are getting manager Alex Cora. Alex Cora. Okay, he used to play for the Red Sox. I think he was on a. I don't know if he was on a World Series team. I don't think he was. Hmm. I have to think about that. Then he went to the Mets, I think, after that. Yeah, I remember Alex Cora. Okay, well, anyway, World Series right. people, 
Our streak in Miller High Life. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say to end this review. I think I remember on Beer Advocate, which I almost rarely use to be completely honest. I think I remember giving High Life on Beer Advocate a 3.5 out of five. I have no issues with the 3.5 out of five. And hell, I might even give it a 3.75 out of five. That high B plus, like seems like I normally give beers these days, this day and age. But for a beer to get a four or above, it's got to really be world class and practically want to be knocking my socks off. But this is great for the style, for sure. Yeah, I like it. I mean, I never had an issue with Miller High Life. Better than Red Stripe to me. When you factor in the per price per ounce, it's better. Yeah, it's a win-win all day long. All right, people, thanks for watching this not particularly important video, but, you know, it's like, a, you know, drinking and, and, you know, everything. All right, well, uh, y'all take care, and uh, let's hope the whoever you pull for wins. I'm pulling for the Astros because I'm pulling for the New England Patriots. <laughs> Whoops. What was he talking about? I'm pulling for the Astros because they never won the World Series. but And they deserve it this year entirely. Yeah, I have no animosity towards the L.A. Dodgers. In fact, I went to see them in 2006. All right, y'all take care. Cheers.